Hello darlings, it's Brandy here. Today I am showing you this cute little mini kit that I got from um, Amazon, this Model 1's mini poly gel kit. Um, if you're new to the channel, please like, share, subscribe, and all that good stuff. Hit the notification bell so you'll know every time I upload. Now the package that it comes in is super, super cute. It's that iridescent plastic and it's very heavy, um, you know, so it's solid quality. And you get a base coat, a top coat, a file, um, the slip solution, and you get four different colors of the actual poly gel. You get a white, a pink, a light apricot, and a color changing pink to white, clear, you know, whatever it is. And then you get these dual forms, which I have to say are awesome. They are giant. If you have trouble fitting your thumbs, then this is the kit for you. It also comes with this cute little instructions, so it goes step by step with pictures, telling you exactly what to do to build yourself a nice set of nails. Now, this isn't like a lot of product, but for someone that is just starting out or, you know, you just need a little kit to bring with you, like on vacation or whatever, then this is awesome. It comes with this little pen brush and it's, you know, the cap opens and you, it makes the handle of the brush longer, which is pretty cool. The only thing I didn't like is that it didn't have a spatula, but the bristles of the brush are pretty firm. So I had no problem adding a little bit of extra poly gel on there when I needed it. So I've got my little finger all set up with a short square nail on it. Um, with the little sticky gel tab underneath to hold it. I'm trying to size the dual forms, but I'm having a problem actually picking the right size. It seems like I pick a size too small every time, um, but that's what practice is for. So, you know, I'm learning. And then I am doing the base coat and top coat, trying to give you a little drop test, but I'm still not getting the angle right of that. But it's just like any normal quality base coat top coat because you know it is model ones I'm going in with the base coat just because you know I'm trying to learn the steps step by step and I want to get it like as muscle memory so I have the base coat on and then I am taking the dual form and getting everything ready to actually put the poly gel into the dual form and while i'm getting this ready i chose to use the light apricot um i just want to say thank you to all my new subscribers my followers on ig all my lovely glitter girls and the glitter girl collab normally i would have used the spatula to apply it but their direction said to put it right onto the dual form so i figured i would follow it step by step what they had to say now you get this little tiny bottle of slip solution, but let me tell you, I use literally like four drops and it was perfect. No issues, no problems. The brush is fairly firm, which is the way I like it. I don't like it when the brush is too soft for this. Um, so I basically just wet it with those few drops and, um, you know, proceeded into spreading the poly gel out into the dual form. So back to my subscribers and followers. I love you guys. Thank you so much for your support and just helping me grow so fast. It, it's amazing and I love you. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Okay, as I'm spreading the poly gel, an important thing to remember is you should s switch the dual forms, like flip it around so that one side is not higher than the other. Like you can tell like right now that one side was lacking because it's it's kind of like a blind spot hi miss diamond debbie yes i saw your video but it is a, a valid point you want to make sure that it's even on both sides because you do have that blind spot you know whether you're left or right handed and you want it to go all the way to the edge not going over so you know i'm just doing the pat and spread pat and spread pat 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 Pat, pat, pat. I just want to give a shout out to BB Nails and more. She's here on um, YouTube. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Her videos are awesome. Please go check her out. She's an up and coming nail YouTuber and I love her videos. She's also on Facebook. 
I will put the link for her YouTube channel in the description box, and I will also add a link for a Facebook nail YouTuber, small YouTuber um, support group as well. I don't have Facebook. Well, I have an account, but it's just, you know, the name. There's nothing extra added to it because I'm so busy with IG and with this, I don't think I could handle having to take care of another account. But that was set up by um, Miss Nail by Nikki P. So we will um, have that link down below. Thanks, Miss Nikki. Now, the problem that I have with poly gel and with everything or anything is that it's done, it's finished, it's fine, but I'm still messing with it and messing with it. And it ends up being a mess if you don't catch yourself soon enough to stop. So, you know, I'm touching up, touching up, but <laughs> I, I probably should have left it um, a little bit while back and just popped it onto the finger. So I'm just triple, quadruple checking and making sure everything is all set. And here we go. We're putting it right on the nail. Or at least I think we are. <laughs> all right. So here we go. Now, when you apply it to the nail, you want to make sure that it's, first of all, not lifting on the bottom because sometimes when you press it down, the product gets pushed down and out, which is normal. And then you come underneath with the brush and you just pull it out so that there's no poly gel underneath the natural nail, but that it's flushed with the top. Um, people use those clips to keep them on to stop that um, disconnection from the natural nail to the product in the dual forms. But I haven't had any luck with those, and I mean, this is a practice finger anyway, so it's not necessary, but I have done it on my own nail and had that happen. Um, I'm just cleaning around the cuticle area, too, because this is a softer poly gel compared to the other one that I used. I mean, I only use that one Mowbray, but this one is definitely a little softer consistency. Not bad, but just soft. So I'm just pulling all that extra product out, trying to make sure it's even so that, you know, the tip isn't thicker than the, than the part that's closer to the natural nail. And then I'm making sure that just everything is flush, that that extra product by the cuticle is not there. And then I'm going to pop it in the lamp. If you haven't watched my last video, please go check it out. It is our monthly gl Glitter Girls collab. And this time it was all about that bling. And it was awesome. There's a playlist down in the description box of that video that has the, the links to every single person that did a video for the collab. And I've watched them all and they were all brilliant. Wonderful. Loved it. Okay, so now that I've gotten the natural, I mean, gotten the finger out of the lamp, it's just, it's awesome. I just took some of the slip solution and I wiped it off. It wasn't very sticky, only a little tiny bit. But since I'm going to file, just to file up the edges and everything, I didn't film the filing and buffing because it was so easy. But I mean, it came out awesome. No bubbles, perfect smoothness I mean I buffed it just because you know you're supposed to buff it to get the top coat to adhere well but I, I'm pretty proud of it I mean my shaping really needs work like on the side um, so I kind of just left it as a square I'm going in with their top coat and I think it came out marvelous I, it's a great product I really really liked it and you know I put it in the lamp for 60 seconds um, I do want to note that the slip solution had like a, a fruity smell to me. I don't know why, but I mean, it could just all be in my head, but it seemed like it was fruity to me. Um, and the top coat again is just a regular, nice thick top coat. Knock on wood. I haven't had any problems with model one products so far, so we'll just have to wait and see. And this is the finished product of my beautiful um, nailed. This is everything that came in the kit. I'm very, very happy with how it came out. It was $25.99 when I bought it on Amazon. Link in the description box. Thanks so much for watching. Have a marvelous day and thanks again.